Misinformation on the internet during this pandemic has caused more distrust in public health than ever before. Public health officials have spent 2020 trying to flatten the COVID-19 curve. In the meantime, people's trust in those public officials is also flattening. In history, have we been required to have somebody else make our health decisions. Dr. Bob Lutz knew what he signed up for as a county health officer, but he never expected to be under this much scrutiny. Yeah, I've never been in a position like this. He says now more than ever, people are able to find whatever they want online, like support for these claims. It's all right, whether we have a medical condition or not, not to wear a mask and to choose how we're going to treat our own personal health. Robin Pickering is a professor at Whitworth University with a focus on adult psychology and health and wellness. She believes the internet has given those false claims more power. Part of the problem is that, that we are not listening just to experts, but we are listening to lay people who are making statements as if they are fact. It's also natural for people to be upset with public health officials who are making the final call on these mandates and restrictions. During a pandemic and during periods of stress where people are feeling uncomfortable, they don't have the information that they want or believe they need. And it doesn't help when politicians and scientists are not on the same page. When we see, you know, political officials telling us one thing and then we see the scientists telling us another thing, that's confusing for people. Some have argued that Dr. Lutz has been too strict with his COVID-19 restrictions in Spokane to this point. The county has been stuck in phase two for 160 days now, but not by choice. The focus is by no means to shut things down, it's to open things up. But the only way you can open things up is if you are really following the public health guidance. Now that distrust in public health is also impacting contact tracers who are helping those infected with the virus. Dr. Lutz says he and the health district are trying to help those employees get past that fatigue with more days off and more focus on self-care.